Hey everybody, Angelo from the T-Squad family. You know, I've done uh, Hensley videos in the past, and I got quite a few emails that say, yeah, but you've never, and, and the hooking up and how easy it is. And I got a few emails, not quite a few, but a few emails that said, hey, you have not showed us a video of how it is to hook up when your truck or your RV is at an angle. Well, this is a perfect location for me to show this video of how I hook up my Hensley. And Richie, if you want to just turn around and show them the hill that you're on right now. So literally, when we backed up, the back of the RV was this far off the ground. So that tells you what a slope on the hill that we are when it comes to backing it up. So right now, we're going to show you how I do it when the vehicle is at an angle like this. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wheelbarrow arms and I'm going to lift up this receiver even with the stinger that's coming down at an angle. So if that makes sense, here's the stinger. The Hensley's like this. I'm going to lift it up so they both are even. And uh, we're going to show you that right now. So if you have not subscribed, do that right now and hit that like button and let's get going. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to loosen these up the best that I can. Well, Okay, that one's good, flimsy, it's good. That's good, now meanwhile, Sandy is gonna be driving the truck and backing it up for me. So you can see this Hensley as she's backing it up, how it's like straight. Now watch what happens when she backs it up. I'll put the stinger on as soon as she backs up and we'll be able to tell, we'll be able to tell how bad the slope is. And the reason I put the stinger on, so she can, so she can determine from the camera where the receiver is. So we're good with the receiver, we're good with the stinger, we're good. Okay, let's go, back it up. That's good. Now, if you look at the truck, what an angle it is. Rich, if you could just point that way and just check out that truck, how it's on a hill, right? So as you can see, the stinger is down at an angle like this. Yes, we are high. So the goal is to make sure your stabilizers are up and lower your RV. I keep the electrical plugged in. This way I'm not killing my battery to the RV. You can see how much torque and power that the electrical has. Now, if she backs up, we're gonna have a problem. And I'll show you right now. Hey Sandy, can you back up? Back up a little. Now watch this, as she backs up, it's not gonna be even. Boom, she, it will not go in. Now pull forward, please. Yep, there you go. So I know the height is the right way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my arms to make this like, like up a little bit like that. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. I'm gonna raise my arms. Stay right there, Richie, you can see it raising. That's going, this is going down. I wanna go up. You see how up it went? Now we should be good there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull it this way. Okay, now, Sandy back up. I'm gonna lower the RV. Now, this whole Hensley is up like this. Hold on, yep, keep going. Now watch how nice it goes right in. Because I raised the Hensley hitch up. Go ahead. Back wow. up. Watch how nice it goes in. Okay, pull forward a little. Just a little bit, my bad. Okay, back up.
perfect. So watch how I bring the Hensley to the vehicle. My beautiful tool that I lost, that Myrtle, that I bought two of them. I'm gonna unclip it. I'm going to take my arms. They may be called something different, but, and I'm gonna pull the RV. You see how I pull? Just a little bit, not much. I'm not even using that much pressure. See what I mean? Look. Okay, so as long as I pulled it, now I'm gonna back off on it. There's the one. I'm gonna go to this side, I'm gonna show you on this side. Now this side should be easier because, now this may seem like a basic installation or a hookup, but Richie, I want you to go on that side and show everybody the pitch of the truck and the Hensley and everything. So you can see the Hensley is literally raising up like that and the truck is I don't know it's high okay in the front so if you're sitting in that front seat you're literally like this it doesn't may not look like it in camera but usually I don't even have to mess with that because we're always on flat surface because there's enough room for the truck to be flat but since this is a hill we had to take the Hensley clockwise when you go clockwise the Hensley goes up counterclockwise Either way, the Hensley goes like this or like this when you counterclockwise. But since we are using the arms like a wheelbarrow, if you go like this, that side's gonna lift. If you go like this, that side's, this side's gonna lift. So you counterclock or you clockwise down, and what happens? It goes up at an angle. The stinger's down like this, and the Hensley's up like this, and you'll be able to go right in like that. I just wanted to show you a brief video on this. I know it's really short but I've been getting a lot of emails on everybody that says, hey, well, what happens when you're on a hill? This is exactly what you wanna do when you're on a hill, is always position your Hensley. It doesn't matter how steep you are. Sometimes we had to take our, our RV and lower it to the lowest part, the lowest part, as low as it would go, because we were so high like that. I never got a video on that, but this is probably the worst it's gonna be for us for a while, right? So hey, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. That's all we gotta do is lift up that, the, the lift, pop out the, 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 the foot, put it away, make sure all of our stabilizers are off. We're good to go. Thanks for watching. I got a little dirty, it's okay. It's for you guys. Take it easy guys.